Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and congratulations to you if you are still paying attention to XRP, as other cryptocurrencies, other altcoins are increasing dramatically uh, today and in, in recent days, and just in general. Because the way that this works, and I saw this in 2017, is there will be some cryptocurrency that starts to take off. Uh, people see that. Oh my gosh, shiny green candle price go moon, win Lambo, maybe now. And then people will exit positions that hadn't moved yet and flow into this uh, new position that's already taken off. So a vast majority of the gain that could have been had, it's, it's already been had, and then these people are jumping in late, and they get wrecked ultimately, and then whatever they got out of ultimately, inevitably, that's going to pump too. And so uh, I've seen that time and again, and that's why I, I share my opinion, I, I, this is what I'm going to do, this market cycle, is... I, I'm actually currently still actively positioning myself with various altcoins, forming strong positions, uh, relatively speaking, what I what I perceive to be strong positions. And then I'm just going to sit there and wait. It's like I'm setting traps. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like I'm, I'm investing in this, and then anything that's already pumping, I rule that out. I am not willing to consider purchasing something that's already pumped. And maybe it'll end up being the case that it's got all sorts of room to grow, but I'm not going to be doing that. And eventually, I personally believe that XRP will have its day as well. And there's an analyst that says, actually, XRP is on the verge of a serious explosion, uh, starting at $9, then to $20, and maybe even $50 this market cycle. And so, you know, anytime you say something like that, you're going to get some somebody out there that reads that and says, but market cap, like market cap is a reason that it's impossible for that to happen. And so I am going to take that concept to the wood chipper in this particular video, because that is a very poor argument. So if you don't think XRP is going to nine or 20 or $50, fine, but that's, that is a bad argument for that position. And so lots to talk about here. But um, I want to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast in the space who enjoys talking about XRP and crypto-related topics, and I make YouTube videos purely as a hobby. That is all that it is. As I record this, XRP is at 44.1 cents, Bitcoin's at $38,570, market cap for the asset class just a little below $1.2 trillion in Bitcoin dominance at 60.27%. It's been decreasing lately, not surprisingly, because like even though Bitcoin price over the last week has been increasing, all this means is that the altcoins in the market are outpacing Bitcoin. So the market is all headed in the right direction, at least right now, uh, though I will uh, issue a warning that I've, I've gathered from a couple chart analysts that even though it's likely to continue this direction, you may see in the short term a dip, just don't be caught off guard if that happens, but I'll talk about that more in a few more minutes or so. And so here's chart analyst Magic, very popular analyst, uh, in, uh, certainly in the XRP community, who wrote the following. And this is the most bullish uh, targets that I've, well, targets that I've ever seen from him personally. And he wrote, XRP looks like it's on the verge of an epic explosion. My target for a moonshot rally is $9, where I think we could see a strong pullback if that happens. I honestly believe XRP could rally upwards of $20 with a final target around $50. Now, $50, that would be insane, and I would love that. Now, there are analysts that, that um, have predicted you know, the $20, $30 range, like DIY investing always comes to mind. Uh, then on the lower end, you got uh, somebody like Blockchain Backer, who's estimating this market cycle. And, and mind you, they're saying this despite what's happening with the SEC versus Ripple. They still believe these numbers. Uh, Blockchain Backer says his estimates anywhere from $10 to $13. So I'd still be thrilled with that. I'd be thrilled with nine. That would be, that would be fantastic. That would mean something for me personally, at least. Um, and so, you know, not surprisingly, nothing against this individual, I don't know who it is, but somebody named Techish responded to that and wrote, you have gone crazy, mate. Can you imagine how much market cap that would be? And actually, I can. I, I don't even have to imagine it. I, I know. Like, even, let's take the biggest number. Let's say XRP hit $50, okay? You're talking about a market cap uh, based on the current circulating supply of somewhere around a little over $2.2 trillion, Look, if you think that it's impossible for a cryptocurrency to have that market cap, you're not thinking big enough. You know, you're talking about gold has today a market cap of whatever it is, nine or ten trillion dollars. That's that's one precious metal. That's one. You think that a cryptocurrency can't have a two point two trillion dollar market cap? And then we can get into it further, which we will right now. 
because I, there were a couple of people and I responded and um, there are a couple of people. Shout outs to Crypto and Arter Da Vinci and Shelby Gosling. Their tweets are on the screen here. And uh, they both asked me in a future video to explain uh, the, the situation with market cap and why people effectively are just getting it wrong. And so I'm happy to do so. I did tweet to Techish right here the following. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this tweet that I wrote and then expand upon. The net inflow of cash required for such a high market cap is much lower than you think. For example, crypto market cap today is about $1.2 trillion. Nowhere near that much money actually flowed in. Market cap is just supply times market price. And so you got to understand, market cap almost means nothing. Now, humans do desire a, a way, I think they could even say need a way, to kind of rank the uh, you know the value of, of each individual cryptocurrency. And so this is the best humans have come up with right now. Um, and so it's just a way to kind of get a feel for, uh, you know, if, if something's got a bigger market cap, there's this perception that it's, it's worth more, this or that. But it really is just it's quite simply, again, you know, the, the way that it's calculated in the world of crypto anyway, is you know, circulating supply, so the times uh, the current market price. Um, can, so consider this. This is my easiest way to illustrate why market cap doesn't functionally matter and also to help you to understand how little money actually flowed in. Like it's like, say there is that 2.2 trillion uh, XRP market cap one day, nowhere near that much money flowed in. So let me illustrate why. Let's give a simple example. I've, I've given this before on the channel, but it's been a long time. <laughs> Let's imagine a world where basketballs do not exist. Let's say there's a company that manufactures five basketballs and that's it. And they're like, we don't know how I made these. What the hell's basketball? And then they go out of business and there's, there's five basketballs in existence. And let's just assume that there will never be more than that just for the sake of this simple explanation. So there's five basketballs that are truly scarce. That's it. And, um, and, and given that they've never been sold before, they hadn't been issued, if you will, uh, you know, they're, they're worth nothing until they're sold. So let's say that I decide to buy each basketball for, for $1, $1 each. And I buy all five of them. So I just spent $5, right? Well, what would the market cap be for this little basketball ecosystem? Well, you take the supply, which is five times uh, the last the, the last sale price of, of one individual basketball, which would be $1, and you'd have a market cap uh, for basketballs of $5, okay? Let's say that I sell one of those basketballs, just one. I'm going to keep the other four, and I'm going to sell one of them. Uh, to this idiot who who uh, just wants to purchase it. I, he didn't know what he's going to do with it because basketball doesn't exist in this weird world. And so uh, I, I somehow convince him to uh, to purchase uh, one of these basketballs for $100 because this guy's an idiot. He's going to pay $100 for this round thing that doesn't do anything. There's only five of them. Okay, it's scarce. Cool. But it doesn't do anything. So this idiot, he just spent $100 on a ball. So what's the new market cap? The new market cap is the supply, which is still five times the last sale price, which is 100, which means that the new market cap is $500. Think about that. The market cap went from $5 to $500. But how much money actually flowed in? Well, I put in five. He put in 100. I mean, if you smack those two numbers together, that's $105. But the market cap is $500. So I'm, I'm, I'm just illustrating here because what happens when you have these parabolic runs, like the price runs up so quick, so quick that, uh, you know, the, the, the idea of like, let's say that XRP was running up from, uh, I don't know, whatever it's at now, 44 cents up to a dollar. I mean, there would be instances with how quick crypto moves that in like less than a minute, like even if somebody was trying to purchase at like say 60 cents, that opportunity is no longer there if people are just plowing in. And so what you end up having is a situation where not that much money's flowing in, but people are willing to pay substantially than they were before that rally started. That's what's happening. And that's what people aren't getting. And so when you're talking about a market cap of $2.2 .2 trillion, I don't know how much money will flow in. I don't know of a great way to figure that out but it would be a fraction of whatever the market cap actually is. Because again, it's it's just a function. And then people use this to try and figure out what the, the difference in value is between these cryptocurrencies. And that's the best that humans have come up with to this point. So the idea of XRP at $50 and no, can't because market cap. No, that's not, that's a poor argument. Give me a different argument. If you want to argue it won't get there, fine. I'll listen to you. That's a bad argument though. That's just not a good one. 
Um, and then you can see, here's another tweet from Magic I wanted to share with you. Uh, people who question XRP's upside potential due to supposed market cap restraints don't understand that it was designed and is being implemented to move trillions of dollars worldwide. Market cap will explode if slash when that materializes. XRP has real utility, people. Think about it. And so the way that I word it is a little bit different than that. Liquidity begets liquidity. So as, as people begin to see that XRP is getting used, more money flows in. But it's not the case that just because, uh, you know, you need a certain price for XRP for it to be able to solve globally uh, the train wreck that is the world of global cross-border payments, just because it would need to be that to do that, that doesn't mean that it will happen. People see it, it's, it's exactly the, the inverse of that. It's, it's the case that XRP has to have a sufficient blend of price and liquidity. And then if that exists, then people, you know, banks and remittance companies can utilize that. Uh, but you, you know, that's why I keep saying like, it's going to have to be continued and it has been, but it's going to have to be organic growth over time. Um, here's a tweet from credible crypto, um, who wrote, uh, I'm going to share with you first a tweet from February 1st. He wrote, we look to have now completed our first major impulse for XRP, starting from the breakout of the corrective structure on my prior chart in the low twenties. Corrections are expected slash healthy. Even a move down to the 40s would put us at a very healthy 0.618 retracement. And again, that was February 1st. Now just several hours ago, and it's uh, February 5th as I record this, Credible Crypto retweeted that and wrote the following. A clean, identifiable impulse is a gift from the crypto gods. It tells you that we are likely starting a new trend and that dips are for buying. It also gives you a clear level of invalidation. Learn to differentiate between an impulse and a correction, and you make more money. Um, and then there's another tweet here from Credible Crypto wrote, guess what happens next? And uh, so this, is, this was also from today. What do you think is going to happen next? And so it seems clear that, um, you know, even if they, they, they don't have the same targets necessarily, Credible Crypto and, um, and, and Magic both seem to think that uh, this thing's primed and we're going to be something perhaps sooner than later, be seeing something sooner than later. And um, I'll tell you, even before any of this analysis, like you could ask me any time over the last three years, I would have guessed, and it could still be the case, I would have guessed that XRP would be among the last cryptocurrencies to move in terms of true parabolic price action, just because historically it hasn't. But, um, you know, if the charts are saying something different now and it might move sooner, hey, I, I wouldn't hate that. Uh, I mean, I hate it a little bit, actually, because my <laughs> I last purchased uh, XRP, I think, in October. And with tax implications in the United States, for me, it would be better if it didn't happen until at least, you know, one year after that. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, then here's a tweet from a blockchain backer who wrote, All-time high flight uh, fight for altcoin market as Bitcoin and Ripple XRP price chart battle retrace levels. And so... Although we're we are at these awesome levels where uh, you know it's it's all time highs for altcoins to, as of today, uh, he did acknowledge even though it's not likely, uh, he's one of a couple that said this. You could see a retracement uh, for Bitcoin, and then that would probably drain realistically drag down all the altcoins as well. So if it you know, happens in the coming days, just don't be caught off guard. Like some people are gonna be flipping out. So I'm just trying to warn you that this is what I'm hearing, and I heard it not just from from blockchain backer. Um, there is also this from Leb Crypto. Uh, something is uneasy about Bitcoin. Price action looks like the calm before a major storm. I do think it's probable a very big Bitcoin move is coming. Whether up or down, it doesn't matter. Alts will bleed a lot. Be prepared for such a scenario so as to cut your losses early. And he's talking about for traders. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not a trader. So like for me, I just I just hold and sit there and don't worry about this stuff. But it's still interesting to follow because I got skin in the game. And then somebody responded asking him uh, how XRP looking for you mate, which is not uh, not really a complete. Sentence. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Love Crypto responded still looking uh, decent to hit my 52 to 58 cents target soon. So that would be in the short term. And even uh, Rakesh Upade, who writes for Cointelegraph, cited here that he sees potentially in the short term that XRP could be rising up to 75 cents. So, I, you know, I think what you're seeing here is just a situation where a, a lot of chart analysts, even if they disagree to the level that, you're, you know, you're going to see in terms of XRP price action, outside of uh, Bitcoin tanking, it looks like they're, the, the, many of them are expecting XRP to be worth uh, quite a bit more, seeing some more rally action here. And so that's why a lot of them are saying here, you know, dips are for buying if, if that's what you want to do. So interesting stuff here. 
Uh, I just I, I can only imagine what the XRP all time high is going to be this market cycle, but I, I suspect it's going to smash through what happened a few years ago. And so that's my bet. Maybe I'm wrong and I lose everything, but I personally don't think so. But I'll wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.